Hey, hey, hey. If I knew you Get guys were in town, here. we would have been gone. I know, Get really. This was the first post-war American sports car. It came out in 1951. The Chevy Corvette came out in 1953. Think about the guy that bought this car back in the day. They were a driver. It was extremely expensive. They knew what they were getting into. Stitch! Hey. Uh, <laughs> show me what you did. The master herself. Oh, it's got oh. power windows? It does. Push the button. Woo! Are you kidding no. me? Click, huh? I like that. We literally had to fix everything. Every time I went to work on it, something was rusted shut. I had to wrestle this car to the ground and put my boot on its neck. Ooh, baby, I love when you talk that way. This was one of those projects that we were pretty stoked to get, but we had our moments where we just really weren't that excited about it. <laughs> yeah. and I'll tell you why. Two because, years, man. Well, I, here's the reason why is because in a normal restoration, you bring it back new. This right. is what we're trying right. to keep it. Yeah. Like, like oh. it just came out of the barn, not all shiny new. So, I mean, you know, we just threw stuff yeah. at it until we liked what we saw. We you tried, it, you know, man. different, yeah, different techniques. Yeah, and... I mean, you know, he welded some panels in. It's where, you know, fresh metal had to be patinaed to make it look like it is. And This car has been like a wild animal that needed to be tamed. From the moment we decided to pull it out. Ho, 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 ho. This thing fought me tooth and nail. It made me scratch in the mud, in the rain, to resurrect it. But I had the easy part of this job. Crafty B and Stitch are the ones who've been living with this thing for two years. We had a little problem with the motor, and it had to come back out. We had some Dead. push rod issues, something that happened at the engine machine shop. Nobody caught it. It wasn't a big deal, but they oh fixed it, gosh. and we put her back in, and that's a lot of engine. The coolest thing about this car was totally the motor, and the fact that somebody pulled the original motor out and put a Cadillac motor in it, that's the moment for me. That's killer. When Nash was thinking about building the car, he wanted a caddy engine in it. Now, we're bringing all that back to life, and Crafty B, you know, was the guy that did it. We actually buffed the paint, you know, and yeah. I think it buffed out pretty good. And then we blended in some different, like, actually wood stain, and yeah. then we cleared it. We fixed all the rust. Can I touch it? Sure. <sighs> you know, you wanted gray, oh, so I gave you gray. I love gray. I wanted to put a little plaid influence in there. I wanted to keep the style like the original seat was as far as the pattern. I was trying to get into the brain of Mike of what is your passion, what are you thinking, but also trying to honor the original interior of this car. So I added a little bit of European influence suited to the car, the age, the year. That's and then incredible. I thought, well, the red carpet, Bounded it in the gray. It See, I, wa I wanted to turn you loose on this. I wanted you to do whatever you wanted to do. I entrusted you. It's incredible, <laughs> really. I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, thanks. It's, it is, I mean, awesome. it's, it's a work of art. When you look at the exterior of the car and you can see it's worn and it's weather and it tells a story, you don't want to open the door and go, wow, what happened to the interior? You want it to connect. She did that. She did the right colors. I mean, the choices that she made are absolutely perfect. Frank, check the key, man. Oh, that's cool. That's a crafty, <laughs> that's a crafty B custom. Start her up, big boy. Let's hear this thing purr. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. The car exceeded every expectation. The steering wheel is huge, that's man. Good. It's like a school bus steering wheel. This was an evolution that had to happen. I gotta drive it, man. The brakes are good, oh, right? Sorry, sorry, man. Hey, wait for me. Crafty B and Stitch lived with this thing for two years, and they never lost sight of what my vision was, and they carried it through me. It's bad to the bone. <laughs> I've sat in this car a few times and imagined what it was like to drive it, how it would sound, how it would handle. It's been a journey, but now, after driving it and feeling it, I know I made the right decision on the shop I chose and just flat out doing it. Because now, man, it's got lots of life and lots of miles ahead of it. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's 
back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.